like you might have a little fever. Oh, I feel okay. Well, you're warm. I wouldn't be surprised if you were coming down with something. I feel great. Well, maybe you ought to stay home for a couple of days anyway, just to play it safe, huh? Yes, 
some more information on these two guys, though I don't know how much closer that gets us. Lab says they find traces of amphetamines in the store where the two of them were waiting. So the supposition is we're dealing with speed freaks. If they've been on it heavily, you can count on the fact that they are paranoid and vicious. Second thing the watchman said before he died, they were wearing masks. He also said one of them had light blonde hair. Uh, how could he see the hair if they had on masks? I don't know. Any ideas? Goalies masks. A what? Goalies masks. They uh, only cover the face, not the hair. Not every sporting goods store would carry those. Yeah, but if they stole the rifles, they probably ripped off the masks at the same time. Well, check it out. Maybe we are getting closer to these two. If you could be a cop, what would you be? Why do you ask? Well, because people like you don't like cops. At least that, that's what they say. Well, lots of people like me have reason not to like cops. Are you going to stick with it for the rest of your life? I tell you about that once these bandages come off. You frightened? Yes. Terry, have you ever thought about... Hey, don't you ever run out of questions? Well, I told you before in Bradenton, I never got a chance to talk to a cop. Well, come on, Lynn, please, please. It's got nothing to do with my being a policeman. The truth is, you probably never talked with, really talked with a black before, male or female. There's your big chance, and you're going to use me for your experiment. Well... Yes, I have spent most of my life in private schools, and I never had an opportunity to talk to a Negro, to a colored person, to someone who was black. <laughs> well, I don't see what's so humorous. Hey, Lynn? Lynn? You there? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry that I laughed. And there's nothing wrong with your wanting to get to know me. But don't tell me it's because of what I do for a living. And don't tell me how to react to that. Or we won't get anywhere with that. friends the other way? Not until we try. Oh, I just want to let you know that I am smiling. <laughs> Light hurt your eyes? Yes. Good. It should. side effect of the surgery. The more it goes down, the more I'll be able to see. But what I can see at this point looks all right. How long do the bandages stay on? Another week at least, maybe longer. Do I have to stay in the hospital? Why? Don't you like it here? The food's lousy. People are all right. Why, thank you, sir. Miss Everett, would you start the paperwork to get this guy out of here? He's saying nasty things about our hospital. Right away, doctor. Now, when you're back home, I want you to take it easy. And don't yield to temptation and start taking those bandages off to get a little peek. That's ruined more good operations than you can shake a stick at. Oh, I'm not going to shake a stick at anything. My doctor told me to take it easy. And your doctor means it. 
Whatever you want me to say. 